Oh, there you are. Hey up troops, it's A Littleton here again with another video and this time we're continuing the Valcam series across all ranked maps. This is episode 3 and in this episode we're going to look at Canal, Night Haven, Oregon and Outback. So we're continuing the same theme with the other two videos. If you haven't seen them yet, they're also on my YouTube channel. Go and have a look. We cover four maps per episode. We've already done two. This is the third as I said earlier on. But we're going to follow the same theme. So we're going to look at three or four cameras for two of the most popular sites on each map. I think that's enough waffling. Let's just get stuck into it. So continuing the alphabetical theme then, we're going to start with Canal. And this is probably my favorite map to play uh, Valkyrie. I think I've shown you this setup probably four or five times in different videos. That isn't going to stop me from showing you again because it works every time. 99 times out of 10. Way up, the first one up in this corner on the light. It looks ridiculous, but it's really well hidden. Next one is over here on 90, up behind this grid, so you can't really see it, but you can still see everything from 90. And then the last one is look over to Newbridge. Look over to where those black boxes are. Don't be here. Make sure you can see the black boxes there. Oh, turn around, but don't fire the deagle as you turn around. I right, actually turn around too fast there. And throw it onto the red pipes. The reason we throw it onto the red pipes, if you throw it any lower, if this wall gets reinforced, it'll get destroyed. And if you throw it any higher, you can't see the box. So if we scroll through those now, you can see anyone coming past the black box there. 90, you can see everything on 90, including the side door. You can see anyone top red, obviously green and, uh, and server door as well. And then the best one of the bunch, because this will get you so many C4 kills, is this one here just in the middle of site. Now, what I'll do, and again, I've shown you this before, but I'm going to tell you again. Um, what I'll do is to start the round, I go down to uh, kayaks. And this isn't necessarily about cams, but I'll show you. Look for a drone hole. Uh, sorry, look for a drone in this drone hole. Look for any drones up here. And look for a drone in this drone hole. And if there's nothing there, just get on cams here. And go to the trench cam, which is this here, and listen for anyone coming through trench. And wait until they've opened the door. Wait until they're thinking they're clear. They can go all the way up the stairs here and just swing and get a kill. Failing that, people often come through lockers or they'll also come through scuba. From there, again, not really Valcam related this, but I might as well tell you. If nobody pushes the basement, you can push up to this area here. Go to the reception window. Punch open the barricade, but don't destroy the glass. It takes a little bit of practice to know the distances where you can punch the barricade, but not the glass. So the glass is still... If I go any closer, it breaks the glass as well. If you don't break the glass, the sound outside is not very loud at all, and no one will know you've done it. And what you'll find as well is people on rappel here, or you'll have an ace up here on his drone. It happens all the time, especially someone on rappel in this area here. And then if there's nothing there, you make your way back to sight. Here you can hold bottom green, bottom red. Bottom green, bottom red. And then if you want to, you can come and tuck into this area, which is what I do a lot. If we're ever in the ascendancy where we've got, um, we're in like a 4v2 or something, I'll just sit down here. I'll just sit on my drone, on my um, cams, and wait for someone who plants here all the time. Thanks very much. Pre-play C4. Boom. Happens all the time. And that's anyone planting there. Gone. Obviously, you can see the plant here and everywhere else as well. But all of this floor is soft. And all of this floor is soft as well. So you can really take advantage of those C4s from below. It works all all the time. Onto the basement of Canal then, my second favourite place to play Valk. If not, actually, maybe I prefer this site than the one above. Um, dead easy, though. First cam goes to the side of this light. We make our way over to Scuba. And put our cam on the tanks, in between the tanks, so it's hidden when you jump in. Can't really see it there. Then we go upstairs with this one. Get the hatches for the lads while we're upstairs. One here. And then one here. Always shoot these plants off the wall. That's the rule, so you just have to do that. Make sure there's no drone in the printer. Make sure there's no drone on the shelves. And throw your third cam in that corner there. After that, come back downstairs. I feel like I'm rushing this a little bit, because I've told you a million times on this, oh, like, how to how to do this side. But if you haven't seen this, then, um, then that's why I'm doing it again. Then we want a pre-play C4 in line with this cabinet here. Just above the corner. Punch out these bags so you can hold this area and then just sit here. And what you're waiting for is somebody to drone through here. Our C4 is about here, by the way. We're waiting for somebody to drone through here and you come off the cam when the player is about here. Because by the time you come off the cam and you blow the C4, that player will be about here. And obviously then you can see where the, the C4 blows up. So come off your cam once the player is about here. 
The other cams we've just done are great. You can see pretty much from a diving window there, or a scuba window. Obviously, the little um, half wall that people tend to hide behind when they've jumped in, and yellow stairs. And then the other one is all of trench, bit of bathroom. You can get good sound commands from this above as well. You can hear if people are above in reception. But they're just three really great cams. Like, you can see... It's what we spoke about on the first video, right? We were trying to get the information before the players get into sight. We don't necessarily just want to put cams like up here. Because by the time they get into sight, it's, it can be a bit useless. Unless, of course, you can see four below like we did upstairs. So the information here is before, they, as soon as they come through trench, before they get into sight. And again here, if they come down yellow or if they come uh, through scuba window before they get into sight. Really, really useful. On to Night Haven then, which has to be right up there for me at the moment in terms of maps I'm enjoying playing. It's such a good addition to the map pool. This is also one of my favourite areas to just even look at. It's such a cool area with the lighting and stuff. Anyway, Valt comes in here. I've seen people place it under here, which is one of the good spots. However, I like to place it just right up next to this vine. However, don't hit the vine because it'll disappear. Just go tucked up next to it. That's almost perfect, to be fair. Yes, I know. Let's play the old game of can you see the camera? No, you can't. Yeah, you can because you know it's there. It just gives you a great view of the, the external door here and obviously the corridor into sight along with CC stairs. The next one, we're going over to connect it, and there's a couple of places where we can use it over here. Um, there's an alcove. Let me just get there, and I'll show you when I get here. Right here. There's an alcove here that you can use. The only problem with that is it is really well hidden when you walk in here. You can't see it around that corner. The only thing is it's too high to see the jump in from the electrical uh, the electrical barricade. Instead, jump on here, come around to the front of these vines, throw it on the front of this plant pot. From here now, you get a clear view. The, the leaves aren't in the way. Remember, all of this floor here is C4-able or a soft floor. So if you want to play below, you can take advantage and use a C4 here. But the key thing is you're going to be able to see if anyone jumps in electrical as soon as they jump in. It's a really clear view of that one there. As I say, you can, if you want to, put it up here. Let me just grab this because I'm going to show you an additional one as well. So the next place I like to put it is to do similar to what we did in Canal, where you use it, uh, a Valcam inside to be able to get a C4 below later on. I like to place it behind this little um, cover here. You can still see all of the sight when you turn it around. It's just really hard to see from the breach if you were... And again, I know that sticks out. We say this all the time. You can, if you want to, by the way, throw it under the uh, the cabinet here, right in the bottom corner. No, there, not there. Right in the bottom corner. There we go. Which arguably is more hidden. Um, again, you can see most of the sight. The only thing is, this is why I don't throw it there. It doesn't give you a great view of this here. And this is what you want to be looking for. This is probably the most common place to plant if the push comes through connector. If the push comes through electrical, um, the, sorry, IT, this is electrical, this is IT, and it's slightly different. So I, I like to get it up in the corner of the site. I mean, you could place it here on this one instead if you wanted to. It's probably more well hidden from the breach. Um, and again, it's going to give you every view of the site. But if I, can I pick that up? Yes, thank you. Um, there's another, another area you can cover that would be ideal. And I saw this, I can't remember... I saw this on TikTok, but I can't remember whose TikTok account, so I can't shout them out. Um, but they jumped off here onto this box here, vault up here, and then throw it on the corner um, right in here of the, uh, whatever this is, what you call this, a crane, I suppose we'll call it in there. Let's get it on there. Again, it looks super obvious, doesn't it? It looks ridiculously obvious. Yes, you can also throw that. You don't have to be on that box. If you can be bothered to learn the lineup, you can throw it from here as well. It's just a little bit more difficult. But again, it's really hard to see that. If you didn't know that was there... I mean, maybe it's a little bit more obvious there. Um, but if you can get a camera in this area as well, um, it's incredibly good information. But there's a ton of different places around Night even because of the texture of the maps. I mean, even just like getting it in behind the... Uh, oh, I've fallen off the stairs. Even getting it in behind the bushes here works well. Um, on the on the far wall, can I get it through that gap? There we go. So that looks like a really obvious cam, but it's hidden by the handrail when you come through the door here. And hidden by the crane. Like, you can barely even see that there. Um, the only thing you've got to worry about with that is there's a lot of attacker drones that end up pre-placed over there, so they might see that, but trying to get a cam in here would be is, is super, super useful. But again, it sort of plays into the fact that we don't want the attackers to get into sight. We want to know the information before they go through the sight door. So here, electrical, and then out onto the top of CC stairs as well. But again, take advantage of the fact that this floor is soft and this floor is soft as well, and try and see four from below if you can to deny the plan. So we're down in the basement of Nighthaven now, and there are a couple of ways of defending this with Valk. You can, most of the pressure, well, 90% of the time, 99 times out of 10, well, the pressure comes from the breach here or the single wall here. 
Now, you can either put a cam in this room and around uh, Animus here. And you can, and they're dead simple as well. You can put a cam up in the corner of Animus there. Attackers will never find it because as they push through the window, obviously they're not looking up there. And also it's the same when you go over into uh, assembly as well. Putting a cam as simply as just up in this corner here. As soon as the attackers come through the breach here, they'll, they're just not looking up there. Especially when they drone in as well. They're looking around this area trying to find if someone's on the doors. Probably a mirror here normally. Um, you know, they're not looking up in the corner of the room. So that's super simple. The other areas you need to cover are the stairs. Now, on Night Haven, we're really lucky as well because we can use these signs that stick out. And you're never ever going to see that coming down the stairs. The only problem is with it is the, the information that you get is only sound until you get to here and once you get to here obviously you get loads of information you can see the attacker coming through but it's only sound until that point failing that obviously you can go as simple as up here the only thing with this is by the time the attacker gets to here you've lost the information so if you go through exosuit door or if they push into the the corridor here you've lost the information there so i tend to like putting it just right up in this corner slightly lower down though because of the light you're not going to see it when you come down the stairs. When you get to here, you're more concerned with this and this. The last thing you're doing is looking up into that corner, and you can see so much about the information when they go into the site. Yes, you're only going to get audio as they come down the stairs, but the defender, sorry, the attacker is never looking around that corner to find that camera there. The other one is over on cargo stairs, where you can actually use the fire exit sign or the fire stair sign to, to good use. So because this is much closer to the staircase, you get loads of information as they come down the stairs in terms of sound. But also, you can see... I've thrown that in the wrong place. Sorry, hang on. Let me throw it further out of it. Nah, not that far. Not quite that far. Uh, about there. So as they come down, they don't see... Oh, you can see that there, Andy. Throw it in a better place, mate. Come on, you're better than this. Oh, I'm throwing two now. Oh, it's all gone to pot. Now oh, we're keeping this in. I'm not cutting it. There we go. That's what we want. You come down, you can't see it. You stand again, once you get to here, you're so concerned with the line of sight here, here, the feet holes here, or this here. The feet holes here, by the way, just work every time. Which I'm going off subject slightly, but... There we go. So, uh, you can play around this area here. And you can go further down these steps, and you can just see whenever anyone gets to the bottom of those stairs. They can't see you at this point either, because if I'm here, in fact, I'll throw a Valcam there. If I'm there, obviously you come down the stairs, we can't see that Valcam, but look at what the Valcam can see. This is our line of sight, obviously. I haven't come down far enough. Look at our line of sight. You can see, like, legs so easily, but we can't see that Valcam, because we'd have to crouch and go prone to see it there. Oh, sorry, there. It works every time, those those uh, those feet holes, if anyone's coming down cargo stairs. So, yeah, take advantage of that fire exit sign. There's, you can obviously play... Um, let me go upstairs here. You can use, as well, a cam upstairs, because so many people play vertically around this area here. So if you can get a camera in here... This is the breach underneath here, right? So if you can get a cam in here, this is called storage. I probably just wouldn't put it up in the corner. I've not really put a cam in here before. I'm just thinking about where I could put it now. I'm just having to look for a spot. I mean, probably right up in that corner. Or on the light, maybe, just behind the light. Mm, probably just up in the corner is the best bet. But you'd have to do it without getting droned, obviously. Um, it's a little bit obvious. But the only reason you'd put that here is just to get the free C4 above. Like, you get so many people playing vertical around here. Ram and Buck and, you know, what have you, just playing around here. So using that to get a free C4 kill would be, uh, would be pretty useful. I just think that on this site, it's not a great place to put a camera because it's pretty obvious it's there. And I think they're probably better used a bit further downstairs. Shoot the radio. Get it out of my game. Right, welcome to Oregon. There are a million cameras that you can use upstairs on Oregon and a lot less cameras you can use downstairs on Oregon. But I'm going to go through some of the most popular now. So starting with Attic. Right up here on this barrel. Where we threw the Fenrir, if you watch the Fenrir video, going to give you a view of Attic and Pit, and you know when someone's going to drop. Now, what you can do is place it on this barrel. In oh, not there, sorry. Place it this barrel instead, and this gives you more view of the door, so you can see if someone was planted on hot... I won't call that default, because the default spot is behind the foo uh, foosball table here, but this is a very common spot to, play, uh, to plant if the push comes from Attic. If you put it on that second barrel, you can see the door. Obviously, you won't hear the sound um, until it gets closer. 
You put it on the barrel further away, you'll hear the sound further away, um, but you won't see the door. So it's up, oh, it's up to you which one you want to do. That is the second time I've desk popped in this video. I really need to stop doing that. Right, the next one is dead simple, just to cover wide stairs. It's probably the most simple camera in the book. It's right up here in the corner. Not going to be seen as the, the attacker pushes up. They're obviously not looking up here. Try not to put other uh, utility here. Like, don't put a Fenrir here if you've got the Velt Cam here. Because as they come up, if they've got to turn around to shoot the Fenrir, they might then see the Velt Cam as well. So try not to put other utility around this area if you can avoid it. Obviously, you're going to see all the wide stairs. And a little bit, depending on where you put your rotate, you can see through that wall, perhaps, of someone coming through the breach as well. Um, the next one is just to cover the default plant. It's inside this lamp. It's just to cover the default plant here. You can see a bit of attic door through the, the tassels. If I go and stand in attic door, you'll see me. Um, you can see me there, and obviously the attic rotates there as well. It's not the best image, but that camera's never, ever going to get destroyed. You can also see, if I come around this way a bit, you can see the trophy door here as well. So this one is, is really useful. Now, another one which is good, which allows you to see trophy and um, attic as well, is right up in this corner here, and then shoot out the top of this. I think I saw Royal Penguin do this first. Um, whether it was his camera to begin with or not, I don't know. Shout out Royal Penguin. Uh, let me just get rid of the rest of that debris. Are you are you going? No, you're not going. Okay. So this gets you to see top main door, trophy door, and you can see anyone pushing down attic as well. Really, really useful. Cam, the only thing is anyone pushing down attic whilst that cam's lit up and someone's on it, it is a bit easier to see it there. It's quite obvious there. And then finally... Um, the other one is a bit like what we did with, um, a bit like what we did with Zero. You can go below onto this bed, so let me, uh, just ping that, uh, and then we'll go down into kitchen. And the bed is about in line with this light. No, it isn't. A bit further over. And just throw it on the bottom of the bed. It's like what we, is that falling off? I oh, know. It's like what we did with the zero cams, right, where we went below. But from here now, you can see the attic rotate if it was there, and you'd be able to see big window if your rotate was this side as well, but obviously you can see the rest of kids. Um, you can do that with any bed, so you could do that with... Let me just nip back upstairs. You could do that with this bunk bed, this bunk bed, and this bunk bed, but I feel like this one gets you the most information because you can see attic rotate really well. However, you, it's like really difficult to see the cam. You'd have to be prone to see it, um, as opposed to the view that we get, which is, is really, really good. Um, so there's like, what, five or six cameras there you can use Oregon upstairs. And unfortunately, there's not as many downstairs, but let's go and have a look. So we're downstairs on Oregon now, and we've got to sort of think of the ways the push can come through here. It can come from blue over on that side of the map. It can come from bottom main here. It can come from tower stairs, or it can come from freezer. So they're the areas that we need to think we need to cover. So first one here, bottom main. This is a belter, by the way. Just tuck it in right in between this uh, drain pipe. Not drain pipe, like sort of waste pipe, or whatever you want to call it, and the air duct. It's not easy to get in there, but it will go in, I promise. I mean, that will sort of do, but I'm not happy with it, because it will go in there. No, I tell you what, we'll be here all day if you want. That'll do, won't it? I mean, yeah, that has gone in, and you can still see everything you need to. So, from there, obviously, you can't see that as you come down main. By the time you turn around main here, you're absolutely not going to see it. I've desk popped again. Why is, why is that happening tonight? Let me move the other mouse out of the way. There we go. So, from there, obviously, you can see bottom main. You can see out onto the, the laundry double as well. So, that's one area. Can we? We can't pick that up now as well, so that's good. Right, we're down to two cams to juggle. The next one is going to go over in freezer on the back of an air conditioning unit here. So you want to make sure you get that in behind there so it's not seen as you come down the stairs, of course. By the time you get to here, they're loud and clear on the camera. And th this one's really, really useful, obviously for hatch drops as well. But attackers never, ever find that camera. Good, I can pick that up. The next one is for tower stairs. Now, this works for any staircase, right? But if you just throw it on a step, and if you tuck it in tight on a step, that will very rarely be seen by attackers. Honestly, that works for every single set of stairs in the game. By the time they get here, obviously drones just jump straight over it. They don't see it at all. By the time they start pushing down, you can see everything you need to on the stairs. And this, of course, covers pillar as well. So should the push come through blue, and they manage to take control of pillar, 
That camera's also going to come into use there as well. Finally, we need to think about blue, and there isn't really, I'm afraid, a great camera for blue. There's a couple of, like, okay ones where you can tuck them up behind the, the pipes here. You can even tuck it up into this gap here. This is, like, really well hidden, but you don't get a great amount of information from it. You can put it on the inside of this cabinet, which is really well hidden. Oh, sorry, that was rubbish. Hello? Just there. Which is really well hidden from the door, but most attackers will jump a, a drone up onto here and use this as a drone spot. So it's probably going to get seen by the drone. I've also seen people put it underneath the chair. Not like that at all. That's not underneath the chair, Andy. What is up with my Valcam throwing tonight? There we go. Underneath the chair. Fairly well hidden-ish, but again, a drone sees that quite easily, I think. Personally, I think if you want to put a camera in blue, don't worry about getting it around this area. Just tuck it right up in the corner here. It's less obvious for a drone, because if a drone comes in and jumps up here, it ain't going to be looking up in that direction. So just try and put it up there, in my personal opinion. There's not a great number of places that you can put it where they're well hidden. The only other place where I also used to try and put a bulletproof cam is behind this light. Um, now, I don't know what the val... I've never done this with the valve cam, so we're trying it for the first time. It might be completely obscured by the light. Oh, no, it's not. You can see fine. Um, I, you can put a bulletproof cam behind there as well, which is really well hidden on the floor, but... I think that's pretty well hidden, actually. Maybe that's the answer. The only thing is, by the time the attacker gets to, like, here, it's, it's pretty obvious there, isn't it? But whilst they're still pushing through blue, I think that's... I don't think that's too bad, but... Downstairs in Oregon, there's not... Yeah, not a great deal of options. There used to be one that you could throw in the... In fact, let's test this live whilst recording a video. You used to be able to throw this into here, um, but apparently it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, have they narrowed the bars? Or what did you throw it through this? So that used to work, but now it was going... It's, yeah, look, it's going offline now. That doesn't work anymore. This is classed as outside the map. Interesting. Used to be able to... This used to be a really good cam. Used to be able to use as well. Um, but yeah, and there's no retrieving that either, so don't throw it through there anymore. So, um, yeah, that's downstairs in Oregon. I, th I think a Valk is incredibly good upstairs in Oregon, but I think downstairs in Oregon, you can sort of do the same job as Valk, just with a couple of bulletproof cams, perhaps. So last but by no means least in part three of this uh, four-part series of all rank maps is Outback. Now, we're going to do the two most common sites on Outback, which is Laundry and uh, Piano and then Games and Party. However, I actually think um, Laundry Piano is the worst site on the map or maybe the, the third worst site on the map, but everybody plays it. And I actually think... The reason everybody plays this is because it used to be the best site on Old Outback, this area here. I don't think it is the best site anymore. Also, I think that's a nod to Crocodile Dundee's hat, someone said on a TikTok. I think it was Titanium Rollo said on a TikTok video. Anyway, that's not why we're here. First Valcam is ridiculously simple and just literally goes in this bed here in the corner. That will never get checked because everyone coming through the breach pushes in, worries about this door, worries about, worries about showers, or anyone pushing in the kids' window comes in this way and is not looking into this bed. It gives you a great view of all of dorms. And obviously you can see the laundry door, shower door, a bit of shower corridor as well. A really useful camp. The next one is over in piano, uh, sorry, in barbecue, and it just goes under the desk or under the picnic table. And all you're going to get from this is knowing when people have come in through the, uh, the main barbecue door. It's quite well hidden from the different uh, wooden planks. Obviously, you're going to see barbecue door, and you can see a bit into piano, and also top shark stairs from this one, which is really, really useful. Um, I call this barbecue, well, because of because of this here, although it's actually called terrace, but I, I call it barbecue. I don't know if anyone else does. Um, the final one is over in... Sorry, I had a hair on my tongue then. I just had to get rid of that. <laughs> The last one is over here behind this lamp. Now, what you want to do is put it slightly to the right of the lamp, about there, right? So what that looks like when you're coming up the stairs is nothing. You can't see it. It's hidden behind the lamp as you come up the stairs. Um, and from there, you can see dorm's door. Obviously, yellow stairs, which is key, but also all the way along long corridor down to piano as well. Uh, but it pretty, I mean, from those three cams, you've got the site pretty well covered. The only thing you can't see which you can put a cam here if you want to, is the shower window jumping. Although I don't think people jump in here that often because this here is a common anchor point to play. To cover this window, to cover this window, and also to play around this door. And also you can jump on here, make a line of sight here, and hold the window from here as well. So jumping through there isn't that common, but it is somewhere you... I mean, there's a cam there, obviously, but it'd be nice to see if somebody did jump in through, through that area there. Now, of course, you can do what we did in Oregon here. If you want to, you can go below. You can make a hole in the floor and throw the cam on the bottom of the bed as well. It absolutely can. You can do it on this, but this will give you more view of kids. If you do it on this one, 
uh, or if you do it on this one, it'll give you more of a view of um, going towards laundry and showers. Just bear in mind, drones come in through here all the time, so it's much easier to see under the beds on this map than it is on Oregon. Um, just bear that in mind. But yeah, that's um, piano laundry. However, it's not the best site on the map, so please stop playing this site. So we're on to office and party. I think I just said party and games in the last video. I'm sorry about that. It's office and party. This is a much better site than piano and laundry. Much, you can get way more creative with the setup. But first things first, you want to be covering the garage. That's a very, very common push. You want to get your cam as high as you can, right up into the uh, the rafters of the, the ceiling here, just behind this little... Uh, that's literally perfect. You can see all garage, all of, uh, of office as well. And obviously from ga from garage, it's pretty well hidden behind this thing. Really, really solid camera. The next one does a very similar thing, but this is going to cover bull and um, party. It's going right up here on the... You see like when the walls kind of jump on the bull? You see like where the wall's green above this wall here? You want to get that right on that area there. Again, not the easiest thing to see for a defender, uh, for an attacker. If that was lit up like it just was, it would be a little bit easier. What would be better there, and I'm not going to be able to get that down to throw it again, is you want it to land on the green wall at the back, really. That's, like, preferred. Um, rather than it being on this at the top, you want it to be, like, facing outwards from the green wall. I haven't thrown it particularly well there, but you'll see what you get. All the way through um, a bull here, and then this side into party. You can see both sides. It's a little bit better if it's a bit further down, but it's still a great view. Like you can see the, the walkout from games right the way into um, into office and obviously round into, into party as well if anyone's freaking out around here. The final one for me is... I, I, I sometimes put it here, but I don't like it. Um, I'm going to show you two. Like you can put it on the end of that light, not like that at all. I haven't been very good at throwing belt cams this video. I think that's pretty well hidden. I get, we haven't done the what does this look like, can you see the belt cam game, have we? Because if you were playing that now, can you see the valve cam? The answer is no. Until you go, oh, actually, yeah, it's very obvious it's there. But this is a, a, probably the most common push apart from the breach. The only thing is, again, as soon as someone goes on that cam, it lights up and it's really obvious. If you don't want to cover um, games, which I do recommend you do cover games because it's a, a really, really busy area. You can go in the projector, by the way. So there's a bit of a recess there that it sits in quite nicely. I think that's really well hidden as well. But if you don't want to cover games, you can also cover shark. Anywhere on the map, and there's multiple places, there's this map with it, there's multiple places on the map where these lights have got like a sort of, I don't know what you'd call that around the outside, what we're calling that, like a grate around the outside. Now, when you put the camera on there, the grate hides the camera really well for a kickoff. But two, you can see under the grate on every single light on the map. So, if you, if you don't put it on that one, that off, you can put it on this one as well, obviously, but it's, exa it's exactly the same. You can see underneath it, you get a great view of everywhere around Shark. But if you're like here, you can barely even see that in the light fix fixture there. But there's a ton of different places where these lights exist on this map. Um, obviously up here, I think they're down in restaurants as well. Um, like here, obviously you're not going to be putting cams down here, but you can do the same thing here. There's a ton of different places where these lights disguise the cameras. Um, but also give you a really good view out as well. But I, I much prefer playing games and party. I said games and party again, haven't I? Come on, Andy, you're better than this. I much prefer playing party and office than I do playing laundry and piano. I don't know what it is. I just think you can set the site up better to your, um, uh, to, to your benefit more than you can the other side, really. Um, but that's Outback, not everyone's favorite map. I don't mind it. I think it's a lot better since the, um, since the changes, uh, since it got reworked. But yeah, I, I enjoy playing it. I get why nobody else does, though. <laughs> So there we have it. There's Canal, Night Haven, Oregon, and Outback done as well. Three of the four episodes done. If you've watched the video, this far especially, thank you very much. You're the GOAT to the channel. Whether you've watched this video for 10 seconds, for 10 minutes, or if you've watched it 10 times, I really, really appreciate it. I might make the videos, but if no one's there to watch them, what's the point? So thank you very much for getting involved. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Cheers!